King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and hear our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Hear a just cause, O Lord, attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer from lips free of deceit. From thee let my vindication come. Let thy eyes see the right. If thou triest my heart, if thou visitest me by night, if thou testest me, thou wilt find no wickedness in me. My mouth does not transgress. With regard to the works of men, by the word of thy lips, I have avoided the ways of the violent. My steps have held fast to thy path. My feet have not slipped. I call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me, O God. Incline thine ear to me, hear my words. Wondrously show thy steadfast love, O Savior of those who seek refuge from their adversaries at thy right hand. Keep me as the apple of the eye, hide me in the shadow of thy wings, from the wicked who despoil me, my deadly enemies who surround me. They close their hearts to pity, with their mouths they speak arrogantly. They track me down, now they surround me, they set their eyes to cast me to the ground. They are like a lion eager to tear, as a young lion lurking in ambush. Arise, O Lord, confront them, overthrow them. Deliver my life from the wicked by thy sword, from men by thy hand, O Lord, from men whose portion in life is of the world. May their belly be filled with what thou hast stored up for them. May their children have more than enough. May they leave something over to their babes. As for me, I shall behold thy face in righteousness. When I awake, I shall be satisfied with beholding my form. To thee, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in thee I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exult over me. Yea, let none that wait for thee be put to shame. Let them be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. For thee I wait all the day long. Be mindful of thy mercy, O Lord, and of thy steadfast love, for they have been from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to thy steadfast love, remember me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. He himself shall abide in prosperity, and his children shall possess the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for you will pluck my feet out of the net. Turn thou to me and be gracious to me, for I am lowly and afflicted. 
Relieve the troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distresses. Consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes and with what violent hatred they hate me. Oh, guard my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in thee. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for thee. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all its troubles. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy steadfast love. According to thy abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done that which is evil in thy sight, so that thou art justified in thy sentence, and blameless in thy judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward being, Therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with this up and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill me with joy and gladness. Let the bones which thou hast broken rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors thy way, and sinners will return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of thy deliverance. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou hast no delight in sacrifice, were I to give a burnt offering, thou wouldst not be pleased. A sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good to Zion in thy good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then wilt thou with delight in right sacrifices and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on thine altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst descend from on high, O merciful one. Thou didst accept the three-day burial to free us from our sufferings. O Lord, our life and resurrection, glory to thee. You appeared as if not as a role of faith, an image of humility, and a teacher of abstinence. Because of your lowliness, heaven was open to you. Because of your poverty, riches were granted to you. O holy Bishop Nicolet, pray to Christ our God to save our souls. By sharing in the ways of the apostles, thou didst become a successor to their throne. Through the practice of virtue, thou didst find the way of divine contemplation, O inspired one of God. By teaching the word of truth without error, thou didst defend the faith, even to the shedding of thy blood. O higher martyr Ignatius, entreat Christ God to save our souls. Now and ever and to the age of ages, amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine, that thou hast put forth the fruit of life. We pray thee, O Lady, intercede together with the apostles and all the saints, that mercy might be granted to our souls. Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord from day to day, and may the God of our salvation prosper us, for he is our God, the God of salvation. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and hear our infirmities for thy name's sake. 
Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. By rising from the tomb, thou didst raise the dead and resurrect Adam. Eve exalts in thy resurrection, and the world celebrates thy rising from the dead. O oh, greatly merciful one, today thou didst rise from the east, enlightening all of creation with thy teachings, and thou art crowned with martyrdom, God-bearing Ignatius, steadfast protectress of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator. Do not despise the cry of us sinners, but in your goodness come speedily to help us who call on you in faith. Hasten to hear our intercessions and to intercede for us, O Theotokos, for you always protect those who honor you. Lord, have mercy, 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 Thou who art every season and every hour, in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified. O Christ our God, who art long-suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulations, evil, and distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by them we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, give the blessing, Father. God be bountiful unto us, and bless us, shows the light of his countenance and be merciful to all. Amen. O God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, and Thou, O Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy upon me, a sinner, and according to Thy divine judgment, save me, Thine unworthy servant, for blessed art Thou unto ages of ages. Amen. God cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy on me. God cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy on me. Oh God cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy on me. 
O heavenly King, the comfort of the Spirit of truth, who art everywhere and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. O Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth, shall show forth thy praise. Blessed is our God always now and ever and unto ages of ages. May the Lord direct your steps. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of angels. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, for those in it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Metropolitan Tikhon, for Archbishop Melchizedek, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for this city, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for caps and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and our life unto Christ our God. Run to the earth to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto angels of angels.
again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For if thine is the might and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For if thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we send up glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
so it's like Lord, the right hand of the Jews, and the serving with us and glorifying thy greatness, and to be a full glorious, honoring worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Blessed is the entrance thy saints, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Holy 
earth our God, and unto thee we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever. God always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Holy, holy God, holy might, holy mortal and mercy in us. Holy God, holy might, holy mortal and mercy in us. Holy God, holy might, holy mortal and mercy in us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed art thou in the throne of thy glory who sits upon the chair of Always now and ever. unto all. Be unto you who readest.
God, through the prayers of the Holy Apostle and Evangelist Luke, enable you to proclaim the good tidings with great power unto the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. At that time, Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not because of the crowd, for he was of short stature. So he ran ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was going to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must stay at your house. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But when they saw it, they all complained, saying, He is gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I have I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. <clears throat> Peace be unto you, proclaims the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. The word or the name Zacchaeus, of course, signals to us that we are beginning our preparation for Great Lent. One month from now, we'll be changing the colors of the covers, of the vigil lights, of the vestments. We'll enter into that bright sadness of a season of repentance until we celebrate the Holy Pascha. And so we're presented in this kind of preparation for the preparation with the person of Zacchaeus. St. Luke is the only one who records the story of Zacchaeus. And he, of course, is one of the most uh, notorious figures. Notorious because Jesus uses the example of tax collectors again and again and again. We'll hear it in the story of the publican and the Pharisee. Publican is another word for tax collector. We know that St. Matthew was a tax collector. And essentially, the reason why they were hated so much was that a tax collector was seen as a collaborator with the occupying army, with the Romans, with the hated Romans, pagans nonetheless. And what they would do is they would sort of purchase a franchise. They would, the government would say, you need to collect X amount of taxes, let's say it's 25%. Then the tax collector would go to you and say, I need 35% of your income. And he would keep 10% of that for himself. And he would do it through extortion. He would do it through violence. 
And it was so notorious in that day to kind of shun tax collectors that Jesus himself, which is very unusual, uses this example of the tax collector. And he says, in regards to discipline in the church, he says that if you don't listen to two or three that go to you, and they go again and you don't listen to them, and then the whole church goes to you and you don't listen to them, it says, if he refuses to hear them, tell it to the church, but if he refuses to hear the church, let him be to you like a heathen and a tax collector. So it was very common to shun tax collectors. Jesus himself even uses them as an example. And that's what makes this story so amazing. This tax collector that was marginalized by everyone knows something is going on and Jesus is coming into Jericho and he climbs a tree because he's very short and he wants to see what's going on. And the beauty of our salvation is that God accomplishes our salvation by dying for us yet while we were sinners. That's what it says in the epistles of Paul. That's the great love that he pours out on us. But we always have to remember there is some work on our part. There is some response on our part that is required. And you might say the whole of Lent is going to be consumed with prodding us and pushing us and reminding us, respond. God loves you. God died for you. God created you. God wants you to be better than you want to be yourself. And so Zacchaeus' response is kind of climbing that tree. His curiosity, his desire. What's so hard for us sometimes, I think especially those of us that grew up in the church. We take all of this for granted. We really do. But even if you convert to the Orthodox faith, it can happen very easily. The shine can wear off. The wonder, the amazement, the beauty, it can become very mundane. And every day, no matter who you are, you're going to have to remind yourself that church and religion and Christ isn't about nostalgia, it isn't about your feelings, it isn't about what gives you a buzz. It's about this fundamental realization that God loves you and that you are worth his life and you are worth his life so much that he gives it to you to partake of. St. Peter writes of that. He says, you are partakers of the divine nature. So we come up here and we receive the body and blood of Christ. We literally have communion with God. We become one with him. Every grace that we receive, we're partaking of the divine nature, the energies of God. When we worship, we're partaking of the energies of God. But it requires a kind of response on our part, doesn't it? It requires us to get out of bed. It requires us to say, this is important. In the mornings, it requires us to say, I'm going to remember God by praying and thanking God for another day, remembering those whom I love and those whom I hate. All of this response is so important, 
Zacchaeus climbs this tree, and you see right away Jesus responds in kind. Zacchaeus, come down. Today, I must be at your house. Jesus says to this, says this to us all the time. Our desire will never go unanswered by God. Never. Sometimes it might seem elusive. Sometimes it might seem hidden. But we're called to have this kind of patient endurance. That's why Lent isn't one day, but it's 40 days. Because sometimes for us to get in the right disposition, it requires 40 days for us to realize what beauty we have, what goodness we have in our God. And then we see the next scene, you might say. Zacchaeus is a completely changed man. Even though everybody's shunning him, even though the Pharisees are saying, look, Jesus goes and eats with sinners and tax collectors. What a loser. Zacchaeus gets up and he says, look, Lord, I give half my goods to the poor. And if I've defrauded anyone, I'll give them four times what I took from them. That's what a changed life looks like. And all of it is summed up by Jesus. He says, today salvation has come to your house. Zacchaeus is a son of Abraham. We want to talk a little bit about that. What does that mean? St. Paul talks about it all the time. And actually, if you look at the icon of the resurrection, you'll see on the left and the right all of those who were in the bosom of Abraham. They had the faith of Abraham. They had the patient endurance of Abraham. But they weren't able to be saved until Christ destroyed the power of death and overcame it. Those are the children of Abraham who died before the resurrection of Christ and he leads them out of hell to bring them into the kingdom of God. For us, St. Paul says in Romans, to have faith, and he says it in Galatians, to have faith is to make you a son of Abraham. There is only one people of God. There are not two people of God. There's not the Jews and the church. There was always one people of God, the people of Abraham. You are grafted in to that Abrahamic tree. Those who did not believe in Christ were broken off. So we are children of Abraham. We're receiving every blessing that was promised to Abraham. And it says at the end, because the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was lost. And so the whole point of Lent is that Jesus is seeking us, seeking to save us, because we've lost our way once again, the joy that Zacchaeus expresses, the zeal that he expresses, these are the things that we have to recapture in our life, in our faith. It's the perfect example to begin to help us think about this time of repentance that is coming. Not yet. Not yet. But it's coming. So Zacchaeus says, desire the right thing. God will respond, and you will in turn respond with a changed life. God will give us the grace to do that.
if we only have faith, if we only reach out to Him, God will provide everything for us. May He who seeks and saves the lost welcome us into His kingdom, welcome us once again into Abraham's bosom, because this is what we were created for. We were created to be the people of God. To him is our life with the Father and the Spirit. Be glory, honor, and majesty always, now, and ever. And unto ages of ages, amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory Let's all say with our soul and with our mind, let us say. O oh Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pay thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy as a God according to the great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pay for Metropolitan Tikhon, for Archbishop Melchizedek, for priests, deacons, and other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pay for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Again, we pay for blessed and rememberable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, and for the blessed and rememberable founders of this Holy Church, and for the departed servants, Bishop Tikhon, Priest John, Archpriest Eugene, Archpriest Sergius, Archpriest Theodore, Matushka Katrina, all those who have perished in Ukraine, for Pro Deacon Blagoy, Dylan, Nikolai, Tamara, Nat Natalia, Gennady, and Barbara, and for our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox are part of this life before us, who here in another world lie asleep in the Lord. Again, we pay for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation for the servants of God, Archmandrite Seraphim, Agumen Patrick, Reader Michael, Melanie, George, Pearl, Marva, Alex, Natalie, John, Connie, Irene, Peter, Kathleen, Carly, and Shadow be born of her for those in crisis pregnancies. For Anna, Victoria, Anastasia, Evgeny, Nicholas, Alexandra, Galena, Elena, Vladimir, Nikolai, Galena, Olga, Elena, Boraya, Tatiana, and for the Brethren's Holy Temple and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we ask great mercy on our brothers and sisters who are caught up in the conflict in Ukraine. Remove from the midst all hostility, confusion, and hatred. Comfort the suffering, wounded, grieving, and displaced. Soften the hearts of leaders. Lead everyone along the path of reconciliation and peace. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those bringing offerings and do good works in this whole and all venerable temple. For those who labor and those who sing. And for all the people here present who ate the great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For if thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens that the Lord may have mercy on them, that he may teach them the word of truth, that he may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church, save them, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them. 
them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads unto the Lord in attitude That with us they also may glorify thine own honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of age. Depart, catechumens. Let no catechumen remain. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace, pray unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Wisdom. Run to the earth to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father. <coughs> Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of age. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Above for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord for this holy house and for those who render it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Wisdom. That guarded always by thy might, we may send up glory to thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of age. Up your hands to the holy place. 
place and bless the Lord and the Lord of the Lord's God and the Spirit. Always, now and ever, and to the ages of the Lord. The President of our country, for all civil authorities and for the armed forces, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The parish council, the choir, the brotherhood, the sister of the art club, the church school, the Bible study, the Orthodox teen fellowship, the Orthodox mothers group, the Orthodox men's group. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages for peace in Ukraine, Iraq, Korea, for the suffering Christians in the Middle East, North Africa, and China. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. For those who are in need of God's mercies and help, the sick, the suffering, the homeless, the lonely, the poor, those who struggle with mental illness, for our frontline workers, our medical workers, our law enforcement officers, for those in crisis pregnancies, May the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. For those that have departed this life before us in the hope of resurrection through eternal life, especially for the newly departed servant of God, Bishop Tikhon, and for protodeacon Blagoy, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto angels of each Place in a new tomb, the tomb of the body and the holy soul, in paradise to the thief and under the throne, flood and the spirit. Was thou, Obama's Christ, filling all things with good design and like a pleasure to build the walls of Jerusalem? Then wilt thou delight in white sacrifices and burnt offerings with the burnt offerings. Then they will offer young bullocks upon the altar. Remember me, my brother and fellow minister. May the Holy Spirit himself meet us together with us all the days of our life. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto you. the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Peace be unto all. 
I will love thee, O Lord, my strength, my firm foundation, my refuge, and my deliverer. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength, my firm foundation, my refuge, and my deliverer. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength, my firm foundation, my refuge, and my deliverer. Christ is in our midst. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. Existing eternally the same. Thou and thine only begotten Son of the Holy Spirit, thou it was who brought us from non existence to being, when we had fallen, when its race up again. It's not cease to do all things, thou hast brought us to heaven. Listen, God is for the kingdom which to come for all these things, and we thanks to thee. For thine only begotten Son of the Holy Spirit, for all things which we know, which we know not, whether manifest or unseen, we thank thee. For this liturgy which thou hast gained into your hands, where there stand be the thousands of archangels and hosts of angels, the cherubim, the seraphim, six winged, many eyed who soar aloft, born on their pinions, singing the triumphant hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, With these blessed powers of Master Lord's magnifying, we also pray aloud and say, 
Holy art thou, and O holy thou, and thine only begotten Son of the Holy Spirit. Holy art thou, and O holy and magnificent is thy glory. Blessed who love thy word, is give thine only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. When he had come and had fulfilled all the dispensation for us, and the night in which he was given up, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world, took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and when he had given thanks and blessed them, hallowed and adored them, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remembering the saving commandment, all this month passed for us the cross the resurrection on the third day, the ascension to heaven, the sitting at the right hand of the second and glorious coming. Thine own of thine own we offer unto thee on behalf of all and for all. O Lord, it is in the Holy Spirit upon the apostle of the third hour, taken not from us a good one, but live in us who pray to thee. O Lord, who this the Holy Spirit upon the apostle of the third hour, take not from us a good one, but renew in us who pray to thee. O Lord, who this the Holy Spirit upon the apostle of the third hour, take not from us a good one, but renew in us who pray to thee. Again, we offer unto thee this reasonable worship and ask thee and pray thee, supplicate thee, send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here offered. And make this bread the precious body of thy Christ, and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ, making the change by the Holy Spirit. That they may be to those who partake for the purification of soul, for the mission of sins, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, for fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness toward thee, but not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer unto thee this reasonable worship for those who have fallen asleep in the faith. Ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. The Holy Prophet, Father, Baptist, Son, Holy, Glorious, and all praise for the apostles of <coughs> St. Ignatius. We commemorate today and all the saints and afflictions of the dogs. Remember those who fall asleep before us, the resurrection to eternal life. Among the first, remember, O Lord, our Metropolitan Tikhon and our Archbishop Melchizedek. Grant them for the holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly to divide the word of thy truth. And grant that with one mouth and one heart we may glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto angels of age 
and may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the precious gifts now offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that our God, who loves mankind, have received them upon his holy and noetic altar above the heavens as a sweet spiritual fragrance will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Our life painless, blameless, and peaceful in a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. <laughs> Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. <laughs> And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon Thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. not bowed down unto flesh and blood, but unto thee, the fearful God, do thou thyself, O Master, make smooth what lies before us all unto good, according to the individual need of each, sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel by land and by air, heal the sick, O thou who art the physician of our souls and bodies, through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind, of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine, all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Tend, O Lord Jesus Christ. Cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy on me. God, cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy on me. Oh, God, cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy on me. The holy things are for the holy. Divide me, destroy me, God. Please divide and unite me, sinner, and consume me. Sanctify me, and protect me. Blessed is the one for thy holy things always now and ever and to the ages of ages.
come into the world. Let us ever bless the Lord, praise His resurrection. Shine, shine in Jerusalem, the glory of the Lord is shown in you. Exalt now and be glad, O Zion. Be radiant, O pure Theotokos, in the resurrection of your Son. O Christ, wisdom, word, and power of God, grant that we may more perfectly partake of thee in the never-ending day of thy kingdom. Wash away, O Lord, o Wash away, O Lord, the sins of those who commemorate here by thy precious blood and through the prayers of all thy saints. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. We have seen the now and ever, and unto ages of age old. Stand upright, have a particular divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly life given in dread mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord Ask that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us commend ourselves and each other and our life unto Christ our God. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctifies those who trust in thee, save thy people, bless thine inheritance, preserve the fullness of thy church, sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house, glorify them in return by the divine power, and forsake us not to put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to thy priests, to all those in civil authority, to the armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from thee, the Father of lights, and unto thee we send up glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. O Christ our God, who art the self-fulfilled no longer prophets, it's fulfilled the dispensation of the Father. Fill our hearts with the joy and gladness, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to me, O Christ, our God, and our sure hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father. Lord. May he who arose from the dead Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, the holy, glorious, and all praise of the apostles, of Saint Nicholas, the wonder worker, patron of Holy Temple, of Saint Ignatius of Antioch, whose memory we celebrate today, of the right of Saint John Chrysostom, whose liturgy we celebrate today, of the righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is gracious and lovest mankind. Uh, just a couple of quick announcements. So this week we have uh, matins on Tuesday morning at 9 a.m., but then we have Wednesday evening the vigil for the feast of the entrance of Christ into the temple. So on Thursday morning we'll have divine liturgy at 9.30 a.m. Uh, so please, uh, if you can make it to one or both of those services, please do so. Um, you'll also see in the bulletin a very nice development uh, being led by the deacons. Uh, there will be a prayer ministry. What's the matter, Thompson? Let me see. What is that? All right. You're going to do the announcements. All right. There is a prayer ministry. All right. So there's a prayer ministry, and if... If you would like to be involved in that, essentially what it's going to be is you would commit to pray for certain people every day. So there's going to be a list that's going to be sent out, and that would be like, I guess, a weekly list. And then also, um, if you have a particular urgent request, if somebody's terribly ill or something like that, that might be sent out to that group. So you'll see a, an email address in the bulletin. Please go ahead and sign up for that if you are interested. Uh, of course, today we have our annual meeting. We are asking everybody that can come to please come. We have to have a quorum for that to be official. It should be pretty pro forma. We're not going to talk about the domes at this meeting other than to tell you kind of where we're at. But there's no proposals that are going to be made at this meeting. We're gonna have a special meeting for that. Uh, and then finally, let's kind of address the, not the elephant in the room. Uh, and that is, uh, of course, what we have attempted to do here is to um, recapture a kind of authentic Orthodox experience. And I know that for some this may seem uh, a little bit uncomfortable or it might seem different. Um, the parish council and I talked about this last month and we had decided that we want to try this. So what we're asking you is let's try this for a month and let's see how it goes. Uh, we have had a lot of people that have asked for this and that have wanted this. And uh, it is not in any way to reflect poorly on the past. It is simply to say that, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of what we have done in the past 22 years is try to regain a sense of what is, what is authentic orthodoxy? What is that really? Um, and so we've, you know, encountered iconography and so forth that really reflects the best of our spirit. I think from a, from a, a, a wider standpoint, what it really does, and I think it was reflected today in the beautiful singing uh, in, in all of your faces, and that is 
that you know, orthodoxy is alive and well in this parish. Christ is present here. And what we want to do is ensure that all of Pittsburgh knows that. Uh, we want to invite everyone who is hungering and thirsting for the truth and experiencing the truth. If they want to experience the fullness of worship, that they can do so here. Again, that's not a denigration of other parishes or the past. It's simply to say that that's where we are at this time. So um, what we're asking is for understanding and patience, and let's sort of look at this next month as a kind of trial period to see how it goes. I welcome your feedback. I have already received uh, very, very positive feedback the feeling of being community, the feeling of not being separated. Uh, all of these things are very, very positive. The feeling of space, of a different kind of, um, a different kind of feeling when you, when you enter the church. And of course, this is our uh, authentic tradition, especially in the Slavic communities, uh, to worship in this manner. So. Uh, let's let's see how it goes, and may God bless our efforts. All right. Birthday. Hey, happy birthday this week to Steve Yurkowski and Mary Beth Madelinsky. And oh, I'm sorry. One more thing. Welcome. Not I'm yet. sorry. Not I yet. apologize. I apologize. Larry Shuga, welcome. How nice it was to have you here today. You are always welcome. Of course, you enhanced our music today and so uh, we remember your father with great fondness and uh, it's a great honor to have you here today and we're going to pray for Larry too. Right, okay. Grant to Lord our prosperous peace of life, health, salvation and furtherness in all good things to the servants of God, Larry, for Steve and Mary Beth on their birthdays and all those who are gathered and grant them O Lord many years. Glory. Email me and we'll set something up. Good. Hello. When are you guys leaving? Okay. All right. Yeah. I was just like almost done, so I just deposit that. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Look at you. So snazzy. 
Wow. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life, and thy precious blood my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness, making me whom is and worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory, at thy dreads and coming through the prayers of thy most your mother and of all the saints. O most holy Lady Theoto, goes the light of my dark and soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy. I think that although I am unworthy, thou hast made me worthy to be overtaken the most your body and precious blood of thy Son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, thou that givest birth to the true light and life, me whom dead in my sin, thou that givest birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, a loving mother of the merciful God, grant me compunction, contrition of my heart, humility my thoughts, release from the slave my own reasonings and make me worthy into my last breath to receive oh uncondemned the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body grant me tears repentance and confession my praise and glorify the old days of my life are blessed and greatly glorified forever amen lord now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word for mine eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people light to enlighten the gentiles and glory of thy people israel holy god holy mighty holy mortal have mercy on us holy god holy mighty holy mortal have mercy on us holy god holy mighty holy mortal have mercy on us glory to the father and to the son to the holy spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages amen O most holy trinity have mercy on us lord cleanse us from our sins, Master, partner, transgressions, holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of age Amen. Grace shining forth, forth from thy lips like a beacon has enlightened the universe it has shown to the world the riches of poverty has revealed to us the heights of humility teaching us by the words of Father John Chrysostom intercede before the word Christ our God to save our souls glory to the Father and to the Son to the Holy Spirit from heaven let us receive the grace of God teaching us by thy words the worship of the one God and Trinity we worthily praise thee O blessed John Chrysostom O pleasing to God for thou art a teacher revealing things divine now and ever and unto ages of ages Amen. Steadfast protectors of Christians constant advocate before the Creator despise not the cries of a sinner's blind goodness can speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and intercede for us with Theotokos without us ever protect those who honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compared than the seraphim without corruption that gave us birth to God the word truth, Theotokos, we magnify thee in the name of the Lord. Father bless. No, no, only when he's not there. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Oh.